Hello, my name is Freya Mowat and I'm an assistant professor at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. I'm a member of the Department of Ophthalmology and Visual Sciences in the School of Medicine and Public Health here at UW-Madison and as a veterinarian I also hold an appointment within the Department of Surgical Sciences at the School of Veterinary Medicine. I am currently funded by the National Institutes of Health National Eye Institute in a Research Career Development Award. My research focuses on ocular aging, specifically aging of the retina where light sensation occurs. When light rays hit your eye, they are focused on the retina by the front part of your eye, the cornea and the lens. When the focused beams of light hit your retina, an electrical signal is generated by light sensitive pigment, kind of like the film in your camera. This pigment is contained in specialized cells called the photoreceptors. The electrical signal is transferred via the optic nerve to the brain where the image is processed into a scene that we can perceive. As we age, the sensitivity of photoreceptors to light goes down. This means that our ability to see, particularly in dim light environments such as in the evening or at night, is impaired. This impairment has real life consequences to older people. For example, it can contribute to trip and fall injuries. In addition, vision impairment in older people results in challenges for independence, limiting the ability to care for oneself, administer medication, and to get around. These limitations can have significant mental health consequences. In addition, aging of the eye is related to aging of the brain, also known as cognitive decline. This combination of visual and cognitive decline compounds the feelings of loneliness and depression that are all too common in older people. There is a strong trend towards an aging population in the United States, which carries a significant health concern and associated cost burden. It is estimated by 2050, age-related eye disorders in the United States will cost over $700 billion in healthcare costs. Aging is the biggest risk factor for a condition known as human age-related macular degeneration which is the most common cause of vision loss in adults over the age of 65. According to the National Eye Institute, the number of people in the United States with age-related macular degeneration will double from 2.1 million in 2010 to 5.4 million in 2050. Age-related macular degeneration, or what is known as AMD for short, causes devastating damage to the photoreceptors contained in the central retina, also known as the macula. The macula is the central part of our retina, responsible for high quality vision. This part of our vision is most important as it helps us to look in detail at objects close to us. Therefore, it's important in tasks like reading a newspaper or writing. The damage caused by AMD results in irreversible loss of vision right in the middle of our central vision, resulting in a substantial disability to the patients who have it. Right now, there is no cure for AMD, in particular the most common form, also known as atrophic. It is named as such because cells in the central retina die or atrophy, and the exact mechanism for this death is not yet understood. Aging as the biggest risk factor for age-related macular degeneration is therefore important to study so that interventions to prevent central visual loss can be implemented to protect vision in the millions of people affected by AMD. Aging is contributed to by many features of our environment, such as air or water pollution, and also our lifestyle choices. For example, whether we choose to smoke or whether we eat a healthy or an unhealthy diet. Many researchers use models to study disease mechanisms, either using computers, cells in a dish, or laboratory animals. Computers and cells in a dish lack the complexity of the retina and therefore cannot accurately model retinal aging. Laboratory animals have a very fixed environment and are also imperfect for the study of natural aging in which the environment plays a major role. As an alternative, 
I have chosen to study age-related vision changes in pet dogs. Research in my lab has shown that vision in dogs is similar to humans and the retina contains an area of photoreceptors that is similar to the human macula. I've also shown that vision in dogs also declines with age. Our pet dogs live in the same environment as us and often experience our lifestyle choices, such as inhalation of secondhand cigarette smoke or the level of exercise that we perform on a daily basis. They age naturally and we predict that the study of their vision as they age will provide an important early warning system for the environment's effects on the aging human retina. I collaborate with epidemiologists that study human cognitive and visual aging and we are beginning a study where we compare the age-related visual decline in the humans with that of their pet dogs. As a veterinarian and an ophthalmologist, nothing would make me happier than being able to understand more about aging in my dog patients. Ultimately, this work will not only help to understand the dog, but that of people too, and might even provide a robust platform in which to perform treatment trials to help to prevent visual decline with aging and to reduce the risk of blinding diseases like AMD.